What's up guys? So today uh, I'm going to be talking about where the Corolla is at, you know, what's going on. And uh, by the title of this video you can probably figure out the Corolla sold, it's gone. Um, I don't own it anymore unfortunately. But uh, I'm going to explain why, how, what, the usual. So let's just get right into it. So basically I've sold the Corolla. Um, you know I didn't really want to. But uh, I wanted to be a little bit more competitive next year. I wanted to be uh, not so much more reliable. I think the Corolla would have been very good at that. But uh, more reliable at a certain power level. As in like SR, you know, 200 to 250. To get a Corolla up to about 250, you're looking at either an SR swap or a Beams. And you're talking like three, dollars $4,000, you know. Or you can just buy the whole 240 for less than you know, $4,000 already with an SR. So, um, there was other reasons too, you know. The Corolla was super fun on the street. Uh, when it came to the track though, it was kind of slow. The tracks are big, you know, my local tracks are, are banked, you know, like a NASCAR track. And uh, when you get up on that bank with a lot of speed, you, you lose almost all of it right away. So, you, you come in with all this entry speed with your, your 80 wheel horsepower, you're and you're, you're eight grand pin and as soon as you clutch kick into that bank all your speed's gone all your momentum's gone and uh, you're basically done by the first corner because you don't have much momentum left to keep you going and you don't have the torque and you don't have the power to uh, gain more speed local tracks in Ohio they just they're they're basically circle tracks you know that we we ran out on Sundays so I wanted to get something that was a little bit more competitive something I could cage something that has huge aftermarket support uh, you know the Corolla does as well but there's so much aftermarket support companies fight for prices it keeps everything cheap uh, almost every OEM part I can buy still for an SR it's just there was just so many things that kind of pushed me away from the Corolla a hey, nice Sylvia hood back there we'll be getting to that pretty soon but um, you know so and I, I was pretty broke there for a while because I actually bought this and had the Corolla um, all at once so between, you know, owning that car, having the Corolla, uh, and um, Christmas and holidays and stuff, I was really broke. I didn't have a lot of money. So the videos have been slacking. I've been kind of lazy. You know, I haven't uploaded a lot. But hopefully with this car and, uh, you know, we're back into the business, I can start making videos for you guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully my quality is slowly getting better. And editing skills, obviously, every time I edit a video, I think I get a little bit better. Let's just cut to the chase for the rest of this video. I'm just gonna have like a bunch of clips of the Corolla when I first bought it. You know, kind of like a in memory of kind of video. So I'll have the first couple clips of uh, when I first picked up the Corolla and then slowly progress as I uh, went through the season. I hope you guys uh, stick around. I really appreciate it. Thanks. What's up? Just bought uh, an 8.6 couple days ago it's pretty mint 